The other day I was asked by someone, how do I sustain my faith during difficult times, challenging times? The first thing that came to me was that what sustains my faith most during a difficult time is coming to God and being honest about what is going on. I learned many years ago that my prayer was often dishonest. That often I would come to God and not really tell God what was going on in my life. I'd come and say things like, oh, thank you so much for everything you've given me. I praise you and all the rest. When really what I was wondering deep down inside is, where are you, God? What opened the door for me was to discover that the Bible is just full of people of faith who are willing to be honest with God. You know, literally a third of all the Psalms in the Bible, that's the prayer book of the Bible, a third of all the Psalms are complaints, laments. There are people that are going through a hard time and they are willing to be honest with God. They don't come to God in denial. They come to God begging for help. And they wonder why God isn't doing anything. In Psalm 13, you know, how long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? Psalm 77, the person at prayer wonders if the right hand of the Lord has lost its power. In Psalm 30, the person says, you know, well, I felt secure. I said, I shall never be disturbed. But things are going fine. You know, everything's just wonderful. But then what happened? You hid your face. And I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord. I plead with the Lord, saying, what profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? One day everything's humming along, and then God hid God's face. The person pleads for help. Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh, Lord, be my helper. And then guess what? Something shifts. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You know what we learn in the Psalms, what we learn in the life of Moses and Abraham and others, in the life of Jesus, is that if we bring to God where we are, something can happen that otherwise won't happen. That's just the way it is. It doesn't mean that when we come to God and say, oh God, help me get me out of this mess, that everything changes overnight. But what we see in the Psalm is a shift. Something changes. It may not be that Everything about our situation gets better. It may be that the gift we're given is the awareness that God is with us in the muck and in the pain. But something happens that sustains the faith and the life of the person going through a hard time. As we move into this new year, Could you be more honest with God? Could we all be more honest with God about what we need and about what we're going through? And to realize that we have a right in this relationship to bring where we are and to be honest. And that if we don't do that, I think there is a real, very real sense that it limits what God can do. Be honest with God and then wait and see what happens.